begin with that Minnesota teenager's plot to kill his family and stage a massacre at his high school. 17 year old armed to the teeth with bombs and firearms had his chilling plot foiled by an eagle eyed witness who phoned in a tip to police. This happened in a small town 80 miles south of Minneapolis. ABC's Josh Haskell is following the investigation. John Ledoux sits in a juvenile detention center after police recovered explosives, guns and ammunition they say belonged to him to be used in an attack in the next few weeks. During his interview with officers, Ledoux revealed his plan was to kill his family members, start a diversionary fire in rural Wasika to distract first responders, and travel to the Wasika Junior Senior High School. There, authorities say Ledoux planned to detonate the prepared bombs allegedly manufactured in a storage locker at this facility, where the teen was taken into custody Tuesday night after a citizen saw him walk inside the unit and close the door. Officers observed materials in the storage locker which were consistent with bomb making, including a pressure cooker, pyrotechnic chemicals, steel ball bearings, and gunpowder. And at his home, police found that 180 page notebook. Motive unclear, but plot laid out. An attack police say John Ledoux didn't expect to survive. The members of the Waseca Public Schools community are deeply saddened and disturbed at the arrest of one of our students. The information that has been revealed indicates that we have escaped what could have been a horrific experience. Josh Haskell, ABC News, New York. Just incredible, chilling the details. details. You, you can't believe this stuff. The teen told investigators that if he had had a gun on him at the time the officer arrested him, he would have shot him dead. Oh, it's amazing. He said he planned to shoot his mother, his father, his sister, essentially his entire family. And what he wanted to do was then start a fire in a rural field that would distract first responders. And then his plan was to set off pressure cooker bombs in the cafeteria during lunch. By the way, while the first responders were out in that field. Unbelievably, it gets worse. He allegedly planned to throw Molotov cocktails, gun down oh. students said he wanted to kill a school uh, per, uh, liaison officer while he was helping wounded students. He said his ultimate goal That's was amazing. to be killed by a SWAT team. And we keep hearing about these children who go back and look at the video or hear about the stories of Columbine and Virginia Tech and they're inspired by them. Apparently he idolized the Columbine shooters and he was trying to model whatever he was doing to look like what they had done and obviously even worse. Thank goodness a witness saw something and said something. It's amazing.